Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Maribel Foods and Recipes. If you're a foodie like me, you're welcome to my channel. And this, if this is your first time of seeing this channel, I welcome you to this channel. This channel is all about food and recipes. So guys, I create videos around foods and new recipes. And guys, if you're the type that is looking for new recipes to try at home, you can stick to the channel by subscribing. Click on the red icon or sub subscribe button and guys also click on the notification bell below so that you'll be notified anytime I post new videos like this. I post new videos on food every three times every week so and when you click on the notification bell you don't get to miss any. You'll be the first YouTube will notify every time I post a new video. So guys and if you like the video do well and click on the like button give the video, video a huge thumbs up and share the video so that more eyes will see the video so guys in today's episode we'll be preparing abata the well-known african salad so in preparation of abata we have a couple of ingredients that we use so in preparation of abata you need abata the white abata here i use the dry abata so i Soaked, I have pre soaked the abata and when soaking your abata don't leave it long in water you just uh, use a uh, like hot but not very hot water you once you soak the abata in the hot water you remove immediately and wash like remove immediately so I put in a sieve to allow the water in the abata to drop out we need crayfish we need pepper in this video, I'm using fresh pepper. You can use dry pepper if you are pepper, someone that loves pepper a lot. But I'm okay with the fresh pepper I'm using. You need red oil. Um, this is for more the seasoning cube. This is the fresh tomato which I'll use in garnishing the abata. Then you need some spices. This is a food which this a food is just a, a, a spice. This is a Eruru, Eruru, or Eruru, whichever one you call it, is just is also a spice. This is the ogiri. Ogiri is the main thing. If you don't put ogiri in your butter, you are uh, you are missing it. You are missing it. Like ogiri is the number one thing you need in a butter because the flavor, the taste, it it gives a butter that flavor, a butter flavor. So this is. I count my garlic egg leaf. This is a uh, the garlic egg. I'll be slicing this garlic egg into small small bits. This is my salt. Then this is the fish fried fish, which we'll also be using.
Are you seeing our uncha? It is called uncha. Oh, I forgot to tell you. It's called uncha. The first thing I'm preparing is uncha. Uncha abacha. Soup for abacha. Or oh, let me say sauce. Abacha sauce. So because it's with this sauce that, that you now mix the abacha together to get the abacha. So here's the crayfish. This is three spoons of ground crayfish. So you can add less or more. But crayfish is nice in abacha. Abacha needs crayfish to make it taste good. Still give it a mix. Okay. The next thing I'll be adding here is the bomo. I've just added the bomo, so I'm giving it a mix again. If you like, you can add this or more when you must have uh, added your abacha. It's your choice. So, I'll, at this point, I'll add two seasoning cubes. So, at this point, I will add the abacha. So you add the abacha in bits. You add and stir. You turn. You still add. Also, you, you can you can decide to be scooping the 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 into the abacha either way you can do it but why is better that way is because you you might have produced a, a the sauce abacha sauce that is bigger than your abacha so if you do it this way i'm doing uh, you may find out that your that the incha will not will be the abacha may the abacha may either not be enough for this uh, soup or the soup will be too much for the abacha so Either way, to be on a safe side, do it the other way around by adding the uh, abacha sauce to the abacha instead of adding the abacha to the sauce. So you keep stirring, keep stirring.
so our butter is ready. It's ready, looking very yummy and inviting. So you are welcome to eat this abata. You are free to try this at home. And guys, if you like abata, if you like the video, if you like what you're seeing, please try this at home and tell me in the comment section below what your own abata looks like after you tried this recipe. I'll be glad to know in the comment section below. And guys, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to the channel and uh, click on the bell icon, notification icon, the bell icon below to be notified anytime I post new videos like this. And guys, if you like the video, give the video a huge thumbs up. Give the video a huge thumbs up. Have you done it? Hit that like button. Keep that like button. And like the video. Share the video so that more people can YouTube can show the video to more people. Our butter is ready. Our butter is ready. Let me add more than the egg. So guys, bye for now and see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and bye.